Well, I'm going to make a little something here that's a little bit different. Things that I found laying around in my freezer and refrigerator. And just put them together and I think they'll work just fine. I'm going to put some sauce, link sausage, whatever kind that you like. And I covered this with uh, some fresh thyme that I had. And I put these sun-dried tomatoes in there and I'm going to steam this. Why steam everything? Well, a lot of people boil the sausage and then all the flavor goes into the water. So after this is steamed and cooked, I'm still going to saute it with the, uh, the shallots and the tomatoes so it'll get some color. So we'll begin with this. And the rest of the ingredients, I chose fingerling potatoes. You don't have to. I chose them because for the appearance when I get done cutting them up. And uh, garlic, fresh garlic, green pepper, a fresh tomato, fresh shallots, and some sage, and sea salt and black pepper, and that, and that should do it. I was going to make it with pasta, but then uh, I would be eating too much pasta. So this is a little bit different. Potatoes and sausage with a little veg. I'll let you know how long the sausage cooks once the, water, the steamer starts to work and I'm lazy so instead of instead of uh, taking the time aha taking the time and peeling off the little pieces of thyme the leaves I'm so lazy I want to see what happens when I just steam all of this with the thyme laying on top it should pick up the flavor and the sun-dried tomatoes they're always too chewy so they'll be in there softening up. Well, the water is just starting to boil, so we're going to cut it down to low, so it just steams. Cover it up. Setting the timer for 20 minutes, that's what I think it'll take. And the potatoes I've already steamed. Instead of boiling, again, to keep the flavor in the potato, not to boil anything out, and also the nutritional value will be boiled out into the water. Meanwhile, while that's steaming, I will now go about cutting up all the vegetables and the potato. Well, while that was cooked, while that's cooking, and I diced up the vegetables and the potatoes I cut up, I go, what else can I add? Mmm, a little. Pecorino or Romano cheese, about a tablespoon, that will go nicely after it's all done. And uh, a good amount of fresh uh, parsley. It will just give nice color and flavor to the dish. Now what I would do would be to pre-cook the sausage and have it room temperature so you can cut it up easily. I went, I waited too late, and now I have to wait till it cools just a little. Before I have before I saute everything together so cooking the sausage ahead is just fine and then everything else here is ready we're gonna put a little olive oil and we're gonna add the sausage that's cut up and then the vegetables the potatoes and uh, we'll see what this dish comes out to be well if the sausage doesn't pick up the flavor of the thyme the way I have it sitting on top of the sausage then you're going to have to take the time and pull off the little leaves and then that'll take some time to do the time well the steaming is done it's taken 25 minutes I can smell the time we'll find out if the flavor got on the sausage a little later we'll take the pieces out and let them cool down a little bit and the sun-dried tomatoes also and then I'm going to uh, slice up the julienne, the sun-dried tomatoes uh, cut up the sausage and we'll get to, the, to finish this dish well there you see the sausage I sliced diagonally a little bit not very thick but uh, nice bite-sized pieces well at least for my mouth and the only item that's not going to go in the skillet uh, immediately with everything else are the sun-dried tomatoes I don't want them to get any harder than what they are. They're soft now and I will add them at the end. Well this large skillet, large surface area, easy to saute, 
We're going to coat the bottom with olive oil. You want to use a, mi a, a mix of olive oil and butter, go right ahead. But I'm just using olive oil. Well, you can just use butter. And the butter could lightly brown too to give it a different flavor, that nutty flavor. As soon as this gets a little warm, I should say hot, then I'm going to add everything. But I actually held back more. I held back the parsley and the Parmesan cheese. Uh, the cheese is going to go on the plate and the parsley will go in when the sun-dried tomatoes are added. I want to see a little smoke and I see the smoke and that means it's nice and hot. Now I'll add all the ingredients. I want to cook this kind of fast because uh, everything is cooked. The vegetables, the peppers, onions, tomatoes don't take a long time. So we just slide everything right in there. And we'll go about mixing it. Not leaving it alone. Keeping the flame high. It'll cool down the hair now and we're going to add a little sea salt. Not much. The sea salt is kind of strong. So I'm just going to add a half of a teaspoon. Nice aroma. I'm smelling good things in here. Now, you'll know when this is done. It only takes a few minutes. Like I said, the sausage is done. Potatoes are cooked. So, at a five minute stir, The tomatoes have disintegrated just about, the peppers are done, a little bit of shallots in there are done. So that's it, this dish is finished. Now I'm going to add the fresh parsley, some dried tomatoes. this on a plate and I would think this is enough for two people sure it is okay well I put half on this plate that's a good portion size as you can see and we'll add the cheese so now we'll need another tablespoon of cheese to go with the other one and there you go I'm gonna sit down and eat it and I'll, I'll be honest with you and let you know how it is serve Nice little pieces of broccoli here, maybe some carrots here, and there it is, you have a nice meal. Well, I'm not picking up the flavor of the thyme, so you're going to have to pick the leaves of thyme off, and, uh, but I'm enjoying the dish. Just wish I had some veggies to go with it.